What's up, guys? Carolina Jackpot coming at you. Probably wondering, why does he have a Massachusetts State Lottery logo in front of him? Well, I'm going to tell you about it. I was browsing the internet, browsing it, if you will, the other night, and uh, I came across a list of stores in the state of Massachusetts and how many prizes of over a million dollars they have sold since 2005. And I thought it was quite interesting that uh, some of them have sold multiple million dollar plus prizes and, and some have sold none. And then you have one that has sold an extraordinary amount since 2005, which, yeah, it seems like a long time ago and it is, but I mean, 14 years and you're selling that many big prizes, uh, it's a big deal. It's quite a big deal. And uh, I figured, huh, why not make a list of these uh, of my own? and uh, kind of compile it together and uh, let's visit these places and see what they look like. And I thought it was very interesting that, man, Massachusetts, they just, they do not uh, hit a home run as far as convenience stores like we do down here in the South. I mean, there are some really nondescript looking places. There's some really oddball joints that you wouldn't expect uh, to be, you know, lucky treasure troves, but that is exactly what they are. And let's take a look at this, shall we? Let's put it into motion. Uh, first off, got a number of stores here that have sold five million dollar prizes since 2005. There's, uh, this is about 10 of them as a matter of fact. Let's jump right into it. First one we're gonna visit here uh, is the Soulgrave News at 417 Washington Street in Boston. This little joint right here, maybe perhaps behind this young man, has sold five prizes of a million dollars plus since 2015. Pretty impressive. Next up, Skelly's State Line Mobile at 1201 Main Street, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Once again, five prizes of a million dollars or more. It's kind of like a, like a small gas station, but uh, it's a lucky happening spot for the people of Haverhill. Rogers Services, 1820 Hyde Park Avenue in Reedville. It looks like an old gas station uh, that's turned into uh, just a gathering spot. But Rogers, $5 million prizes on the mass lottery since 2015. We'll make our way on over to Robinson's Newsstand at 1556 Eastern Avenue in Malden, Massachusetts. We have a Malden here in South Carolina, and uh, you can't make it out really good, but yep, yeah, there you go. Robinson's News and uh, Convenience, looks like there. Yep, we have a Malden, South Carolina. They also have a Malden, Massachusetts, and it's sold five prizes of a million dollars plus since 2005. Next up on our list, yeah, if we can get in rotation here, Raynham Park at 1958 Broadway in Raynham, Massachusetts. Obviously, by the looks of this, it is uh, a casino. And uh, they're a lucky spot as well. $5 million prizes on tickets. Once again, I don't know if these are Powerball. I don't know if they're instant games, uh, if they're scratch-offs. Uh, or what, but uh, you know, it's definitely a place that someone would want to uh, try your luck at if you were ever in the area. Next up on that list with five as well, Pika's Pub and Grill, 10 Ayers Village Road in Methuen. I guess that's how we pronounce that, Methuen, Massachusetts at Pika's. That does not look like a place you'd buy lottery tickets. Look like a greasy spoon, but the Kino sign out here under sandwiches and wraps tells you that you definitely would be able to purchase lottery tickets at Pika's. Next up on the list, this spot looks a little bit familiar. That's because it is. This is the Palace Spa at 415 Washington Street in Boston. Coincidentally, it was right next door to the place that was uh, number one on our list there, Soulgrave News at 417. So I guess Maybe Soul Graves is here, the newspapers and magazines, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Palace Spa. Eh, maybe over here somewhere. I don't know. There's a subway there, 
And that looks like it says cigars, specialties. So I'm not exactly sure how it's laid out, but at any rate, they're almost in the same exact spot. And if you go here, you could be a definite lucky individual. Five million dollar prizes as well at the Palace Spa. Next up on the list, whoops. No, not in that place. There we go. James Quickmart, 55 James Reynolds Road in Swansea. Swansea, Massachusetts at James Quickmart. We've got a uh, Swansea here in South Carolina as well. Um, not sure if it's pronounced exactly the same way or not, but you can buy your Mass State lottery, your wine there, as well as uh, obviously a lot of other uh, uh, endeavors that you could waste your money on or, or not. Five prizes as well, a million dollars plus. Let's travel on over to the next spot on the list, Dick's Variety North for Main Street in Salisbury, Massachusetts. They also have five million dollar prizes. They have the Kino logo up here as well. Kino must be a big deal in Massachusetts. Let's move on down the road to the College Highway variety. Looks like an old barn at uh, 334 Main Street in East Hampton. They have also sold five million dollar prizes. Perhaps some college students hit those on College Highway variety. I have no idea what college that is. <coughs> I don't know if we're dealing with the uh, University of Massachusetts, Harvard, um, uh, Northeastern. Uh, I don't know a lot of other schools in Massachusetts. At any rate, moving on, we find our way to the Boyles Family Market at 199 Mystic Avenue in Medford. They have also sold $5 million prizes in that time span. Five is a magic number here in Massachusetts, it looks like as well as this joint, 7-Eleven, at 504 Washington Street in Canton, Massachusetts. They've sold five as well. This is the last one that has sold only five, only five, y'all. And this is like, this is your old school 7-Eleven with the steeple in the middle of it. And, and that's just uh, kind of reminiscent of my childhood. They don't look like that around here anymore. Had the 99 cent big gulp on special the day they decided to take that picture. Yeah, cool. All right, moving on over to the Route 110 Convenience at 196 East Street in Methuen. They have sold $6 million prizes or more. This just looks like somebody's old house. And uh, noticing there, the advertisement, Boston Celtics. Uh, I don't really like the Boston Celtics one way or the other. I don't really care. But uh, obviously, they like Miller Lite and McCann, so uh, they're cool with me because that's my beverage of choice as well. The 110 Convenience, I'm sure that must mean the, yeah, the Route 110 Convenience. Uh, cool stuff, cool stuff. Looks like a nice place. I mean, it's a really kind of strange. It's an older uh, look here, but it's got a really, really big parking lot out back. Enough for about 50 to uh, 60 cars there. So... We move on over to the Quick Mart at 764 Main Street in Haverhill, which also happens to be a golf gas station. They sold $6 million prizes as well in this particular <clears throat> establishment. It's more like your regular, normal, busy gas station uh, down on the corner. Powers Wine and Liquor at 23 Wood Street in Lowell. Uh, Lowell, Massachusetts, I definitely know of as a place they held... Uh, several uh wwf monday night raws back in the day uh thursday raw thursday back in 1997 i remember being in lowell massachusetts and other than uh, having some really good wrestling there they also sell some good lottery tickets as a matter of fact this liquor store in the strip mall has sold six million dollar winners plus since 2005 moving on over to Lanzilli's Grocery at 931 Bennington Street in East Boston. They sold six as well in this joint. Look at this. I mean, by any means necessary. They are coming any way they can. Plane, trains, automobiles, even wheelchairs. They're finding their way over there to Lanzilli's to see if they can land Zilly the big prize. 
Shop Quick Superette at 534 Linfield Street in Lynn, Massachusetts. Oh, I noticed a lot of these places have ice boxes like that out in front, all sealed up. That's some old school stuff. It's pretty cool. This place has sold seven million dollar plus uh, prizes since 2015. That is an advertisement for propane tanks, not hand grenades. And I'm not sure what that is advertising there. I can't quite make it out. But at any rate, shop quick uh, as a place to go uh, if you want to buy some decent lottery tickets in the city of Lynn, Massachusetts. And the number one place, 11. That is right. We go from 7 all the way to 11 is next on the list of million-dollar prizes on the Massachusetts lottery since 2005. Ted's State Line Mobile at 551 Broadway in Methuen. They have sold 11. 11 prizes of a million dollars plus since 2005. I guarantee you that this nice looking gas station, that a lot of this uh, outer work, the landscaping, and all this uh, decorative whatnot was uh, financed from. Commission from the Massachusetts State Lottery. You sold that many million dollar plus winners, you're uh, you're raking in some loot. Or either he's just pocketing it all himself. Ted may be a very rich man. I don't know. The sign looks kind of jacked up. Or maybe it's just the power lines there that's hitting it in the reflection. But at any rate, uh, that doesn't look like a place to me that, you know, I would say, hey, they pull off there and get rich. But Quite a few people have. Quite a few people have since 2005. That concludes my wrap-up of the luckiest places in the state of Massachusetts to buy lottery tickets. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, by all means, hit it with a thumbs down. It's not uh, football season right now. We're in the off season. Bowls have just finished up a few weeks ago. <clears throat> There's really not a whole heck of a lot to talk about right now. So I'm just making videos. Let me know what you think, guys. Hit like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see y'all next time. Appreciate it. Peace, and I'm out.